Bacolod, officially known as the city of Bacolod, is a highly urbanized city in the region of western Visayas, Philippines. It is the capital of the province of Negros Occidental, where it is geographically situated but governed administratively independent. It is the most populous city in western Visayas and the second most populous city in the entire Visayas after Cebu City. It is notable for its Mascara Festival held during the third week of October and is known for being a relatively friendly city, as it bears the nickname, the City of Smiles. Bacolod, also known as the Sugar Bowl of the Philippines, the city is also famous for its local delicacies paella, cansi, and chicken inasal. Bacolod is the old Hiligaynon, old Alongo, word for a stone hill, or hilly terrain, any small eminence or elevation, since the resettlement was founded on a stony, hilly area, now the barangay of Granada. It was officially called Ciudad de Bacolod, when Municipalidad de Bacolod was converted into a city in 1938. Historical church accounts provide a glimpse of the early years of Bacolod as a mere small settlement by the riverbank known as Mag Sugai, or horn-shaped, in English. When the neighboring settlement of Bago was elevated into the status of a small town in 1575, it had several religious dependencies and one of which was the village of Magsungai. The early missionaries placed the village under the care and protection of St. Sebastian sometime in the middle of the 18th century. A corregidor in English, magistrate by the name of Luis Fernando de Luna, donated a relic of the saint for the growing mission, and since then, the village came to be known as San Sebastian de Magsungai. Bacolod was not established as a town until 1755 or 1756, after the inhabitants of the coastal settlement of San Sebastián de Magsungay, were attacked by forces under Datu Bantalan of Sulu on July 14, 1755, and the villagers transferred from the coast to a hilly area called Bacolod, which is now the Barangay of Granada. Due to the Muslim raids in 1787, Bacolod was transferred towards the shoreline. The old site was called Da Banwa, meaning Old Town. Bernardino de los Santos became the first gobernadorcillo or the municipal judge or governor. The town of Bacolod was constituted as a parochia or parish in 1788 under the secular clergy, but did not have a resident priest until 1802, as the town was served by the priest from Bago, and later Binalbagan. On February 11, 1802, Father Eusebio Lorencio became acting parish priest of Bacolod. In September 1806, Father Leon Pedro was appointed interim parish priest and the following year became the first regular parish priest. In September 1817, Fray or Friar, Julian Gonzaga from Barcelona was appointed as the parish priest. He encouraged the people to settle once again near the sea. He also encouraged migration to Bacolod and the opening of lands to agriculture and industry. In 1846, upon the request of Romualdo Jimeno, Bishop of Cebu and Negros at that time, Governor General Narciso Claveria E. Zaldua sent to Negros a team of recollect missionaries headed by priest Fernando Cuenca. A decree of June 20, 1848, by Gobernador General Claveria ordered the restructuring of Negros politically and religiously. The following year, 1849, Negros Island Gobernadorcillo Manuel Valdivieso y Morquecho transferred the capital of the province of Negros from Himamalan to Bacolod and the Augustinian recollects were asked to assume spiritual administration of Negros, which they did that same year. Transfer of Bacolod to the recollects, however, took place only in 1871. Fray Mauricio Ferrero became the first Augustinian recollect parish priest of Bacolod and successor to the secular priest. Father Mariano Avila. In 1863, a compulsory primary public school system was set up. In 1889, Bacolod became the capital of Occidental Negroes when the province of Negroes was politically divided into the separate provinces of Negroes Occidental and Negroes Oriental. The success of the revolution in Bacolod was attributed to the low morale of the local Spanish detachment due to its defeat in Panay and Luzon and to the psychological warfare of Generals Aniceto Laxon and Juan Araneta. In 1897, a battle in Bacolod was fought in Matabang River. A year later, on November 5, 1898, the Negrants, revolutionarios, armed with knives, bolos, spears, and rifle like stems, and pieces of sawali, mounted in carts, captured the convento, presently Palacio Episcopal or the Bishop's Palace, where Coronel de Castro y Cisneros, and platoons of civil guards, surrendered. On November 7, 1898, 
most of the revolutionary army gathered together to establish a provisional junta and to confirm the elections of Aniceto Laxon as president, Juan Araneta as war delegate, as well as the other officials. For a brief moment, the provinces of Occidental Negroes and Oriental Negroes were reunited under the cantonal government of the Negrense Revolutionarios, from November 6, 1898, to the end of February 1899, making Bacolod as the capital. In March 1899, the American forces led by Colonel James G. Smith, occupied Bacolod, the revolutionary capital of Republica Cantonal de Negros or the Cantonal Republic of Negros. The Cantonal Republic of Negros became a U.S. territory on April 30, 1901. This separated Negros Island once again, reverting Bacolod to its status as the capital of Occidental Negros. The public school of Instituto Rizal, or Rizal Institute, opened its doors to students on July 1, 1902. Colegio de Nuestra Señora de la Consolación, in English. College of Our Lady of Consolation, the first private institution in the province of Negros Occidental, was established in Bacolod by the Augustinian Sisters on March 11, 1919, and opened in July 1919. A historic event took place in 1938 when municipality of Bacolod was elevated into a city through Commonwealth Act No. 326, passed by the First National Assembly of the Philippines creating the city of Bacolod. Assemblyman Pedro C. Hernáez of the 2nd District of Negros Occidental sponsored the bill. The law was passed on June 18, 1938. Bacolod was formally inaugurated as a chartered city on October 19, 1938, by virtue of Commonwealth Act No. 404, highlighted by the visit of Commonwealth President Manuel L. Quezon. President Quezon appointed Alfredo Montalabano Sr. as the first city mayor of Bacolod. In World War II, Bacolod was occupied by the Japanese forces on May 21, 1942. Lieutenant General Kawano Kono Takeshi, the Japanese commanding officer of the 77th Infantry Brigade, 102nd Division, seized the homes of Don Generoso Villanueva, a prominent sugar planter. The home served as the seat of power, or the occupational headquarters for the Japanese forces in Negros and all of the central Visayan region, and the Daku Belay, being the tallest building of Bacolod. It served as the city's watchtower at that time, and also the home of his brother-in-law, Don Mariano Ramos was captured by the Japanese. The home of Don Generoso, was lived in by Lt. Gen. Takeshi throughout the duration of the war and also served as his office, and the home of Don Mariano, was under a Japanese colonel. In March 1945, upon the invasion of the American and Philippine Commonwealth forces, the withdrawal of the Japanese army into the mountains and the temporary occupation of Bacolod by the combined U.S. and Philippine Commonwealth Armed Forces, the House of Villanueva was then occupied by Major General Rap Brush, commander of the 40th Infantry Division, known as the Sun Burst Division, for approximately five months. The local Philippine military built and established the general headquarters and camp bases of the Philippine Commonwealth Army which was active from January 3, 1942, to June 30, 1946. The 7th Constabulary Regiment of the Philippine Constabulary was also active from October 28, 1944, to June 30, 1946, and was stationed in Bacolod during and after World War II. On May 29, 1945, the city was liberated by joint Philippine and American forces. It took time to rebuild the city after liberation. However, upon the orders of Lt. Gen. Takeshi, both the homes of Villanueva and Ramos were saved from destruction by the retreating Japanese forces. When the country finally gained independence from the United States, the city's public markets and slaughterhouses were rebuilt. Bacolod was classified as a highly urbanized city. On September 27, 1984, by the provision of Section 166 and 168 of the Local Government Code and the DILG Memo Circular No. 83-49. In January 1985, the original hardwood and coral structure of Palacio Episcopal was almost entirely destroyed by a fire. Among the damage of the raging fire were items of significant historical value. The reconstruction of Palacio which took more than two years, was completed in 1990. Bacolod is located on the northwestern coast of the large island of Negros. Within the island, it is bounded on the north by the city of Talisay on the east by the town of Murcia and on the south by the city of Bago. As a coastal city, it is bounded on the west by the Guimaras Strait, serving as a natural border of northwestern Negros Island region to the neighboring western Visayas. 
Bacolod is composed of 61 barangay, villages, and 639 kurok, or smaller units composing a village. It is accessible by sea, by air, by land around Negros Island. The Mascara Festival is not about colorful masks. It's actually a portmanteau of mass, or masa, and kara, which literally translate into many faces. This is because, before the festival began, the city was experiencing a huge crisis. Their main industry of sugarcane and sugar production was threatened by substitutes like high fructose corn syrup. This caused the price of sugar to plummet, affecting the livelihood of many bakaladnams. The city was also still reeling from the Don Juan tragedy incident, during which the eponymous cruise ship collided with an oil tanker and resulted in hundreds of deaths. This was when the local government, with the help of civil groups, decided to bring a smile back to the people's faces. Thus, the Mascara Festival was born. The masks were added to represent the many faces of the people. Over the years, the festival has transformed into a celebration of the city itself and its history and culture. The grandest festival in the city is the Pana Ad Festival, held every April in Bacolod City and participated in by all the towns and cities of Negros Occidental. The name stems from the Hiligaynon word, Pana Ad, which means vow or promise. As such, Pana Ad Festival is a commemoration of the people's vow of faith in exchange for blessings. It's also a festival to thank Divine Providence. Pana Ad Festival is a wonderful showcase of products and crafts not just of Bacolod City but of the entire province. There's an Ina Sal Street in Bacolod City. It's located at Father M. Ferrero Street, and it's home to the best chicken and ossal you will ever taste. For the full experience, make sure to have some cinemoc for dipping. The concept of Monokan Country is said to have begun as a series of stalls along Quadra Street, which was then called Chicken Alley. The Velez siblings, led by Eliza and Nina, were noted to be the founders of the alley. Bacaladnons, and Negrenses in general, are said to be some of the sweetest people in the Philippines. The home of sweets. Maybe this is due to sugar being the main industry in the province, which may also be the reason why Bacolod is considered Sugarlandia. Your sweet tooth will surely be satisfied, with plenty of bakeries and patisseries serving delectable treats like chocolate cakes, paella, barquios, bizcocho, Napoleons, and more.